I've been summoned by TikTok's famous O.T.L. Grayson. Everybody talks about how the SCI six-speed transmission is bulletproof. Clearly, it's not. It's incredibly strong, but it's not bulletproof. Nothing is bulletproof. Um, however, some of the transmissions that I have rebuilt here at Offline Performance have gone eight seconds. There's a lot of nine second ones. Um, Parker's car has a trans that's built by me. That one has a rally spec long gear ratio uh, kit in it. Um, Nate's drag car that went eights. That one also has a rally spec uh, gear stack put together by me. I've put together a bunch of other transmissions just for daily drivers and uh, local guys that like to go to the sh uh, strip and stuff like that. So um, I feel like I kind of know what I'm talking about. Maybe I don't, who knows, but <clears throat> This transmission was street raced a lot and it failed on second gear. So if you come over here, Jay, you can see that second gear failed. So maybe the light's a little bit too exposed, but right in here, if you can get in there, second gear is broken. And second gear on the STI six speed is forged onto the main shaft. So this is the part that needs replaced. So this is first gear in reverse driver right here. This is second gear. So what we have to do, we have to take the shift forks and the shift interlock keyway and take all that out and then pull the whole gear stack out. And then I'm going to have to transfer everything on this gear shaft, uh, in this gear stack off of this shaft onto this one. You can see the threads for this literally just sits right like that. And then I'm also going to have to go over here on the pinion shaft and take the combination gear off because it's also shipped. So um, let's get to that. Um, so right here, I'm taking out these caps. I saw that drop right there. So what these do is these hold a spring and a ball detent. And I'll show you what those go to. So there is very, very small pieces in these transmissions and you have to be extremely careful when you're taking them apart not to lose them. So like this one's kind of fighting me right now. Hopefully I can get it out. There we go. So this is just a plunger and it has a spring on it, right? And it pushes on this ball. So there's three of them right here. Each of them have a spring. And what this is, is this, you know that really nice click when you go into gear? That's what this is. This controls that click the gear. So we got all those out. Now we're gonna take, there's one more over here for the reverse side. The reverse side has an even smaller piece. And it's just the tiniest little ball bearing you've ever seen. So. Real small, definitely easy to lose. So with all that out now, we can take the shift keyway apart. Sometimes you have to get it all to line up. Okay. And that'll slide out. Get a little pry bar in here. And we'll sneak in here. Go. Go. Okay. Now I got reverse out. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick my hand down in here. Switch off this whole stack. Take all the forks. Get these off. While we're taking this apart, we're inspecting. So these plastic collars on the forks. If those break or chip off, you're gonna have a sloppy shift. These ones all look pretty good. So we're probably gonna leave those. Now we can take these cases, or these uh, stacks, sorry. So you can see the second gear failure here. So I'm actually surprised it didn't round the whole gear. Um, it must have let loose and then just immediately stopped. And you can see over here on this stack, where when this one let loose, it chipped up this gear. 
So we're going to replace this gear and this, this whole section here. So, okay, step two, wipe your hands, and then we're going to take this nut off the top of this gear stack. This nut is torqued to 295 foot-pounds, foot I believe. Thankfully, our fabricator, Eric, made me this really cool transmission teardown assembly. And I can just slide that right in there, get my impact with that slid out. Let's get that back in. There we go. Okay. So, this nut and this washer right here are single use. These are both going to go in the garbage. We're not going to reuse these. Here we have a brand new synchro set because it's basically pointless to replace the gear without replacing the synchro. Even though any grinding you get is going to be coming from the actual dog engagement teeth on the gear, not the synchro. Um, if you're putting a brand new gear on, put a new synchro on. So we have that, and then we have second gear here. Before I go tearing that apart, I'll just show you how this works here. So this just chills right like that. The synchros, right? And then once you get some trans fluid in there, there's this steel ring in between the brass, and it just slips ever so slightly. It's really hard to do when it's dry by hand, but. That, keyed in. <laughs> what? What do I put underneath the cars for like E? I just don't want this to stay in the floor. If it's leaking. You have to get the fork. Tools that we have are like... Before the uh, compressor goes back off, we have this really nice hydraulic press right here. And we're going to use this to do all... We have our big bearing right here and our uh, press tool is sandwiched in between the... Uh, just the collar, I guess you could call it, and the gear on sixth gear on the pinion shaft. So we're gonna fire up this press and uh, let it get to work. Oh. Okay. Uh, Grayson's hot tech tip here. Put a bunch of foam underneath your press so that when that shoots down, it doesn't chip the concrete of your coated white floors. So we're gonna take this tool back off. This right like that. All right. Before we take this gear stack off, we need to use our punches and get this keyway. Use this keyway. We're gonna take that out real quick. Just set this over there. All right. Now same thing. Put this right here and press this gear off. There's that. I usually tell people that are new to drag racing these cars at really high horsepower, leave the stock output shaft on it, break a couple of them while you're learning, then put a bigger output shaft on. Okay, so this gear, now that we're, now that we have all the pressed pieces off, well, some of the pressed pieces, we're just gonna take this guy. This should be our busted second. Yep, so again, you can see all those chips right there. Honestly, it probably would have worked it would have ground, like grinded a little bit. Oh yeah, you can see, look right there. Okay, see these teeth? These are called your dog engagement, and that's what actually splines onto, like that's what the trans or the uh, engine is actually transmitting power through, these guys right here. 
if you think about it. And um, they're, they're so rounded and worn down compared to these ones. See, those are nice and sharp. These ones are all gummed up. So yeah, this gear was toast. Probably grinded really bad, and that's probably what led to the failure. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take all this stuff, the synchro set, take it off. That's all the stuff that we're replacing. We're gonna put the new gear on. And we'll be sure to line it up with the clips, which it is now. So you wanna line it up with those guys right there. So the gear's on. Now we can uh, put everything back together. Important thing here while you're pressing this on, you wanna watch this keyway and make sure that it stays in place because if it starts walking down, what'll happen is it slopes outward right here and while you're pushing it down, it'll try to go out and it'll get pinched and kinked and then it's ruined. You, have to, you can try to file it to make it work, but All right, I want to show you something real quick. I haven't released the pressure on this, right? I showed this to Nick last time I was doing this. There is, um, about 1500 PSI of pressure on this right here. Like, you can't move that, right? It's stuck on there, but watch. What? That's how you know it's put together, right? So now we'll get this out and we'll get that other keyway in and then the exact same thing we're just going to press that other hand on. <laughs> hey Grayson, this whole built. No, you lying. No. Hey, this built. Damn. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> okay. So. While Jay was over talking to Cole in another video that you'll see, I have taken the main bearing off of the top of this gear stack, along with six gear and this spacer collar. So these do two things. These allow this needle bearing right here to float on the shaft, and it also spaces out the gears between themselves. So it does two things and they're very important and we're gonna be sure to keep that. What do we, the what do we's getting washed. What do we, what do we washing my what do we? What do we wash? What do we? Who's gonna wash what do we? Hey, shut up Grayson from one episode ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're Cole from one episode ago. Mine's going out first. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and while I was pushing this gear on, it literally took my entire stack and shifted it up. You know what else is an accident? <laughs> Shut up, last born. Dang. First born gang. First born gang. <laughs> they had to stop at three, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, like I said, I have this tool set on third gear. It's gonna push all this stuff off. It's, it's risky, but it makes it a lot faster. So. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Buttery smooth. So, that whole stack is off now. I'll have to reassemble it back in pieces. We just pressed fifth. Fourth, third, yeah, fifth, fourth, and third all off of that in one time. Uh, so that definitely sped up the process. So you can see here where that broken gear was. You got a lot better look at it now. Really chewed up. So we're gonna. So hard. You can see it. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna put this one on now. So these are identical. Um, obviously, one's just not broken. <laughs>
What is it's that? For, it's for the forbidden song. Oh my god, dude. That's stop leak, isn't it? that dope ass montage that Jay put together. I'm just finishing up here, getting some of this stuff out of the valleys here. Freshly oiled. Damn. Dude. Freshly lubricated. All right, it's the next day. Um, last night, I washed out the barrel, the cover here, and then slapped it on this morning before Jay got here. Um, so this is all bolted down. These pins right here keep your uh, shift forks in place. So those are really important. Don't forget those. And if they don't go in, don't force them in because that means the forks aren't aligned. So... Um, now, <clears throat> there's a snap ring that goes on top of this bearing right here. That's the one that we pressed on on the, uh, on the input shaft side. So we're going to pry this up just a little bit to be able to put the uh, snap ring on. So we're gonna pry that up just a little bit and then just start one edge. And then I just kind of walk it around with my fingers. You don't really need tools for So we have these shims that come from the factory. And remember this is, I don't know, it's just a steel ring. It's probably just like a bushing. So we'll set that there. Let it chill. <clears throat> and then there's another so we'll Take this. Slide it right over here. There's some alignment, alignment dowels that'll make that set in place. Now there's a bunch of bolts that we're going to have to put in. They're all torques. Okay. Now that we have that plate bolted down, we're going to put the shifter together. And if you don't do this correctly, you'll end up having to take this whole barrel back apart. And that nice. sucks. So what you do, this, I haven't moved this at all. I can take this right now and spin it and totally screw myself. You don't want to do that. So we're going to take this, we're just going to pull it up. That way it's in gear and it won't move. All right? I'm going to keep that in gear, this spring and plunger, and then this guy. So we're going to take this, and it goes like this, right down in there, and then we lock that, that keyway, or the uh, shifter in, so that I can spin this on. And we're going to put that ball into there, and then there's a pin that goes in here that we're going to line that up to. That's roughly lined up. And it'll drop down like that, of course, but this will make it easier if we put this plunger in here. It'll... Okay. So now we can bring this back up and I got to get a couple different things. I need a hammer, some punch, Take this pin. All right, that one's started. Get a punch just to finish it off. Okay. 
And then in these transmissions, there's always two pins. There's always an inner and an outer. So this one's going to go into that pin that I just drove in and lock it in place. And we get our spring here. Okay, we get a washer and a snap ring. Make sure that's seated all the way. There we go. All right, so there we go. Jay, do you know what that is? What the spring is? No. The side to side motion. Mm -hmm. So that side to side motion is what you're, this spring, if this was broken, you'd slide your shifter over to the first gear channel and it would just stay there. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is what centers your shifter. Okay, now it's time to put the center differential. There's these needle bearings that I like to put just a little bit of all purpose grease on because they like to fall out when you're putting the center diff on, and it is kind of a pain in the ass to get in the same place. That's it, that's your center diff. <clears throat> and then this plug right here, don't forget to plug this in. This is what your center differential controller goes to. And then there's an oil channel on it. So get that slid into place. Got our shim centered. And if we've done our job correctly up till now, I'll set this down in here and it'll spin freely. Mm. That's it. Let's see how nice of a beat I can lay down. Dang, you should be a welder. Make sure our shim's centered. Drop this right down on. Oh, come on. Get in there. Just like that. Just like that. Let me just bolt this guy down. The only thing left, um, I have the uh, I have the transmission drain pan in the parts washer right now. There's still some fragments in it this morning, so. Um, that's basically it. The only thing left now is to put the, uh, uh, actually this transmission didn't have it. The guy took it off. Um, but the shifter assembly right here, that just has two pins as well. So, uh, that's about it for transmission rebuild. Um, I'm going to get started on that one. I don't know if we'll do a video on that one. It seems like it'll be a little redundant. So if you have a broken STI transmission or it grinds, or you're just not happy with the way it shifts, email us, sales.offlineperformance.com, and we can get you a quote on a rebuild. So see you on the next episode.